Alright, here's one that's a little more lighthearted. <laughs> cool. It's called Love Poems. I hadn't written in a while. It was like living that way. You either do or you don't. There is no scribble grocery list of a novel, and I didn't. I kept busy, stretched the day into long hours filled with distraction. I stayed out late to drink away the pin-pricking memories like cough syrup down my dry throat. I stumbled home with hands like lead, collapsing onto dirty bed sheets to fall into an inception. Asleep so deep, dreams couldn't find me. And the cycle would repeat itself again and again and again until I could not discern my sleep from my consciousness, moving pen to paper or typing on a screen where pastimes lost in the jungle of my disconnected thoughts. Everything became glazed over. And I could not separate fact from fiction, but I could pick apart the good and the ugly, and eventually that's where I found you. And you made me want to write again. You made me want to turn my head towards the heavens and preach like there was a God to sing to. You made me want to stop and smell the roses when I used to be the one to crush them. I found myself somewhere between hungover and in love, like I had fallen down the rabbit hole and into your forgiving arms. You were the wake-up call on the answering machine, but no message my closed throat could utter seemed good enough for your ears to hear. So I dusted off an unused train of thought and put it to paper. Three words spoken too soon, four into my lips. I love food. No, that's not it, but suddenly it was all about you, because the love poems my friends read did not make sense until you knocked on my door, and I'm being sentimental, I know. But since we come into this world and leave it alone, it's nice to have someone to share the ride with. The love poems in my books did not catch my attention until you did. I always chose Macbeth over Romeo and Juliet because the king's death was easier to handle than adoration used as poison. But you held my hand and I knew that your eyes were not lying to me when you said that life was alright. The love poems I clapped for did not reflect how I felt until I began to write them myself and I wrote them for you. Thank you.